know, I know. Can you hear me, by the way? Let me know if you can hear me, so that way I don't, you know, run into the issue of I don't know if things are functioning in stream. <laughs> you can hear me? Cool. Alright, I just wanted to make sure of that before I got the camera functioning. God damn it. Hate. <laughs> okay, just angle camera down a little more. Camera no want to angle down. Okay. I forced camera angle down. There we go. Want to know something funny? Always. I always want to know funny stuff. <laughs> Feels like this camera is just at an odd angle. You know what I mean? Can't seem to get this thing angled properly. You're gonna be Santa to a kid who's terrified of you. Dude. That is both glorious and I worry for that kid. <laughs> but like why is it so zoomed in now why are you zoomed in because like can't even see the bottom row of days here what the heck see the problem is i had to move a bunch of stuff around So now none of the stuff that I had set up before sits exactly where it used to. Alrighty. Yeah, you're going to terrify the hell out of that kid, aren't you? I can see it now. <laughs> also, I got a package in the mail today that is the strips that I'm going to use to actually put grip on this uh, new mouse that I got. So I'm kind of excited to have that done. The only problem is mildly concerned because it specifically states V2. If it'll actually focus on there. Yeah, specifically states V2 on, this, on the, the item. So I don't know if my mouse is going to be the exact same. You're going to be Krampus? Nice. I, I worry for that kid. <laughs> but so, as kind of something interesting for this, um, the, uh, the lighting is not really situated i guess is the best way to describe it um I, I can't really plug in my lights for this uh because it is drawing so much on my usb that having everything turned on at the same time keeps causing all those issues i figured that out turn your mouse into an obsolete oh yeah well, I have the V2. I got the V2. Now I'm getting the V3. Ha ha ha. Oh, dude, the tower is going to be ridiculous. I think there's a total of like eight USB slots on this thing. Which, by the way, it's like, oh, it's right here. It's just off screen, just off camera here. It's just, uh,. Sitting off to the side there. But uh, no previews for now because I still got to do more work to actually get it running. But in the meantime, that doesn't mean that we can't still play games and stuff. 
because right now I'm still using the laptop, still the same setup that we've been using all the last two years. Three years, actually, now. So, with that information in mind, what do you say we jump into a little bit more puzzle for this night? <laughs> I've got the next couple days off from work, so just going to chill. It's a fun game. I'm debating on getting it. I'm actually thinking I might get that. I also want to look up... Um, I think it was Gob that was talking about this one game. Generation Zero, I think, is the game that he was talking about. It's on sale, and you can get all of, like, the DLC and expansions and everything for it for, like, $12. It's, like, 70% off right now. So I'm just like, hmm, maybe if that's the same game that he was talking about with, like, the, uh, those, like, robots and everything. It's like a stealth shooter game kind of thing. I'm like, that could be kind of fun. And it does equate it to, like, Sea of Thieves and Left 4 Dead 2. So, both fun games that I enjoy. But, I do want to get to this one because I am actually kind of excited for it. <laughs> because I see little portraits in the bottom corner over here, and I'm just like, I, I want to know what this story is going on about here. <sighs> Excuse me. So, I think we'll start off with the puzzle. But it's it's so weird to me right now that I can't make... Oh, great. Oh, great. Um, cool. Um, I don't know what just happened. I, uh, Can you still hear me at all, or no? Tell me if you can hear me. You can still hear me? Okay, cool. Am I moving? Is my camera moving? Okay, and is this working? Can you see my hand moving? Oh, cool. All right. So I think it, that was the issue that I was talking about. I forgot that I had my capture card turned on as well. I think I can only have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven devices plugged into my USB at one time. So uh, more than that, and it kind of goes... Also, I see a goose hanging out. Hey, a gummy. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> it's already a lot for one USB. Well, I mean, I've got three USB connections on my computer, but one of them is connecting to a port that has seven, and then there's my mouse and my keyboard plugged directly into the computer. And then there's the capture card, which I'm thinking the capture card might actually go back directly into the computer instead of that. But enough with the rambling on about that. We got to get to this puzzle because we're already uh, kind of running over time on this. And uh, I'm probably not going to crop this down. <laughs> so, hee <laughs> hee. Yeah. 
not editing any of this out. So let's get this story going. There's the camera, not there. There is no camera there. That's the screen. There's the camera. Okay. <clears throat> 20th day. It takes a while for you to discover the door behind all the costumes. What kind of place is likely to be hidden behind it, you wonder? And if we assume the occupant uses the walk-in wardrobe to get dressed up before he goes outside, the exit could be very close by. However, as you open the door with the code, you are disappointed. You are still not outside. Instead, you're in a post office. There are stacks of presents, parcel boxes, and letters. The good old post clearly seems to be some of some importance here in the solitude of the mountains. You discover a wooden door. The room appears to keep going behind it. Of course, it is barricaded. But someone has penned a letter to the wood. You begin reading quickly. You've done very well thus far. I hope you like my escape room. Have you noticed that Christmas is quickly approaching, as you can see from my little gallery? I have several friends and relatives that I would like to give presents to. Please help me get the parcels ready so that they can arrive on time. Once you've got all the presents together, simply use my par my practical pneumatic postal system, my pride and joy. Perhaps you will find my clue for the next numerical lock as you work. Intrigued, you look at the gallery more closely, and for a moment you are stunned. From a distance, the images look like people with fur hats, but it looks like, like, you can't deny what you see. Yes, they are yetis! Snow people! A small hysterical laugh bubbles out of you. The situation is so weird. Why are you still surprised? <sighs> now you come to think of it, it all begins to make sense. The white fur on the sofa, the huge ice skates, the oversized conductor's hat. Good heavens, how could you have missed all the signs? And the remote house in the mountains, even the name Reinhold now sounds familiar to you. You shake your head in disbelief. Will the presents heading for Nepal arrive in time for Christmas? <laughs> now open door number 20. Behind you will find one riddle card marked T. Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Literally, the card just says, cool, there's presents. You should take a closer look at them. Great. So it's all going to be in the room. Son of a biscuit. Is there anything on the back of 2020? No, there's not. Okay. All right. There's nothing on the back of 20. Taking a really close look at the presents. Or not the presents, the portraits here. All I see is uh, somebody that is... Like a mountain climber, and then three yetis. It's about the best we got for hints on this. So this, not going to help us. However, let's see what this is able to help us with. Oh, look, it's the same pictures. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Now you see, this right here is perfect reason. Perfect reason why you shouldn't throw away any pieces when dealing with puzzle rooms. Because I'll show you guys. So you see this symbol down here, this present. It's in the corner, kind of like something that has been on every single card since we started this thing. Well, come on, camera. Come on, camera. Understand that there isn't light. Damn it, it's not understanding that there isn't light. Fine. There's presents. On the floor. And in the corners of each part of the room here. 
trying to get the light in there. So yeah. Oh, there we go. That works better. Ish. Kind of. Is that a PS5? It may very well be. We'll have to solve the puzzle so we can find out! But yeah, there's presents. One, two, and three. So, I have a very strong feeling that I know what it wants me to do. So, um, all those cards that, uh, that we got there. Oh, okay. Door, day one. Uh, yep. Uh, day two. Yep. All right. Day three. Yep. I got a feeling I'm going to be at this for a little bit. Day four. Cool, there's multiple. There's so many presents! Day five. But last year I had 36! Is that the right quote? I don't actually know if that's the uh, the correct. Is it, I don't know if that's the correct number. Uh, six, so seven. Oh, it's one. Of, it's like in these. Okay. Uh, yep. So G. Eight, 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 eight. H. Nine. Three cards. <laughs> okay, uh, day 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, There's so many presents today on things no adult said ever. I mean... I am an adult. <laughs> uh, 11, 11, 11, 11. Eleven is K. Twelve. Twelve is L. Twelve more cards. Uh, thirteen is M. Yep. Ah! Oh, interesting. Oh, there it is. The presence on the wrong side. That's weird. It's weird that they have it up there on only that one so far. Uh, 13 is M. N is 14. 15. O. Oh my. 16. Uh huh. 17. Eighteen. No, 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 nineteen. And twenty is E. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, there's going to be way too many of these. I can feel it now. Look at all these presents! I'm gonna have to go through them all to make sure what matches and what doesn't. Son of a biscuit! The older you get, the less presents you get. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, wait, no, I need, I need 20 open. I need 20 open. I also feel like I need light. I need better light over here. 
So let's just pray to whatever whatever eldritch deity you are um, preferential to that this does not cause issue. Not letting you open doors after December 13th. Uh, well, I mean, it kind of needs to happen. Because I need to open doors in order to go into the next rooms. <laughs> That's the least subscribers. Yeah, I'm not going to get into that for legal reasons. Um, I am told that I should not uh, divulge those things. At least not until the courts have settled. Okay. So we've got yellow sphere with green. Yellow sphere with green ribbon. What? <laughs> 26! Foldable inhale asterisk D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N I gotta see is trigger fire working? Yep, it's working. Okay. Um so I gotta test something, but uh, George, there is actually something interesting that should work eventually. Um, let's see if this is, I can't remember the command. Is that the right command? No, nope, I don't think that's the right command. Okay, that seemed kind of weird. My lights kind of went bleh. No, yeah, my lights are going woo. Okay, that's... Oh, that's why. It wasn't plugged in all the way. Nope. They're still bros. They're still goopy. Let me double check on something really, really fast, because now that I know that it's working, uh, I gotta find the right thing, because I actually specifically set it up so that way it just happens when certain words are played. <laughs> or not played, but certain words are included. Um... Okay, so it does have you in there. It should, anyways. Try your usual message one more time for me, George. Try your usual beginning message. Alright, so my ring lights are kind of like flickering here a little bit. Yep, nope, it didn't recognize. Or did I not set it up the right one? Ah. I see, I see. Uh... Why is it not... It won't allow me to do keywords. Hmm. Interesting. Why is it not letting me do so? Very interesting. 
No, it was actually supposed to be when you did when you specifically do the inhale. But it won't let me have any aliases. It won't let me won't let me set up certain things in particular. Ah, there we go. Uh, only permitted users can use. Okay. Now try your usual message, and we'll see if it works. If it doesn't work, then I'll tell you what the command is, and then multiple people can try it out, and we can make sure that it actually works specifically for you. Yeah, it wouldn't let it wouldn't let me do the right things. Okay, so we got that one. Uh, then yellow box with red ribbon. Yellow box with red ribbon. Are there any more of those? No. And the third one is a blue box with red ribbon. Uh, not that one. Blue box with red ribbon. Light blue box with red ribbon. Really? Really? <laughs> Really? That's going to be our first word? Okay, so it didn't seem to want to work for that. Alright, so that works. <laughs> Use a certain number of things. Trigger, command keywords. Hmm. I think that was the right quantity. Let me double check. Yep. So now try just, George, just type the word inhale. Blue with yellow, red with yellow. So there's that one. And then the blue with yellow is somewhere else, I'm guessing. Dark blue with yellow ribbon. Wow. <laughs> okay, uh, blue with gold, pink with yellow. Blue with gold, pink with yellow. Is, is this going to be like W, W O N or something? Pink with yellow, pink with yellow, pink with yellow, pink with yellow. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, no, that's like purple with yellow. Yeah, that's like purple with yellow. <sighs> I 
I think it could be one of those two? Light blue, tall with yellow. Light blue, tall with yellow. Oh, there's, I think there's supposed to be more O cards. And this is why you don't get rid of cards. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Since you're out to I want to join me for the dawning. If I'm awake. <laughs> if I'm awake, I am actually kind of interested. Uh, there's a bird and snow, but we just have to do this. We need to go find the words and ice piece together in a trice. Am I miss? I'm missing a card. I'm missing a card somewhere. On the plus side, I don't really think I need it because it's like 801. So I'm pretty sure our code is 801. I have a very strong feeling that it's 801. Which takes us from 20. So we go down, right, and down, right. So down, right, down, right. Which brings us over to diamond plus diamond. Yes! Success! We found door number 21! There we go! There we go. Ha! Winner. Ha 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 ha. Okay. So now I'm just going to put all the cards that I have back there. And all the other pieces, parts, and everything. I'm just going to... Do you know there? I'm just going to find a place for them. Shut up. <laughs> Okay, so that works. We got the next destination. We know what room we're going into. <laughs> Start at 12 p.m. your time, some one hour of story content, then dawning time. Now, what is this dawning that you speak of? Because keep in mind, I know nothing about lore at the moment, and I have not seen any of the stuff from the Game Awards. Yeah, everything's kind of exploding with cables over there. Ah! More stuff exploding with cables. Because I'm yanking on things that should not be yanked upon. There's testing options? Testing options, you say? Interesting. Yeah, like I said, as long as I'm... As long as I can get up... And awake, I will be able to join in. However, me being awake at like noon my time on a day off, honestly, is not common. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, I'm just saying it's not a common thing. Also, Uh, but let me just go to the BRB screen, and I'm going to come right back so that way we can start doing some extra stuff for the night, get back into God of War after a little bit of testing, have some general casual conversation, and have ourselves a fun Monday. See you guys in a sec.